You don't know what cardboarding it is. I kind of have a guess. Yeah, I ran out of trash bags. So I went to the grocery. I went to the food mart this week. Yeah. Been a while since I've done that. Mrs. Deal does not like me going to the food mart with her. Have I ever mentioned that? Not recently. See, here's the deal. If she does this thing, it's called the grocery game. And it allows her to get, like, groceries for, like, nothing. Because I mean, yeah. she gets coupons and, and she knows how to she knows how to work the system. We used to, yeah. I used to have this real hate-mongering boss, and he would ban them women from the store. Oh, is that right? Your wife would not be allowed to be shopping at the grocery store me and Don worked at. That is true. She would not be allowed. I would forbid her. That was a great grocery store. I loved that time. It was good times. Speaking of good times at the grocery store... I was so happy this week. I, it's like I died and went to grocery. I would pay. Heaven. I'm sorry. I hate to break in, but I would pay for your mom, to, for your for, for, for your wife to ask the produce manager if they have any more pineapples in stock. And she follows them to the produce cooler, and there's me fornicating with a young woman inside. <laughs> See, fellow crappers, let me explain something. I, I, I never really that was, liked that to was, look. That was, that was my grocery store. Real quick, you know what Don used to do back, back in those days? It was great. Don would come in. Don would commit felonies every weekend. You know what he would do? No. And this is this is this is no big dramatic story. I was just saying this in passing. But you know, where the dry ice would come in on the frozen food section, so you know, of course, Don would make the dry ice bombs. You know, put it you know put it in a in a two. He would dump out a two liter bottle and throw the dry ice in there, and it would just mm. sound like a shotgun went off. And of right. course, the the meat aisle the meat aisle was was near the back, so. All the old ladies shopping for meat would, oh, John, what was that? When it would boom and go off, you know. Mm -hmm. See, yeah. I, 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 know, I never like to lift the veil of what goes on here at WrestleCrap Radio. But the reason the shows, it's, it's so comical because I'll talk to you. And you, we didn't this week. But we usually say, okay, let's, let's try and keep this show. Let's not make this show an hour and a half. And we both agree to that. Is that not true? Yes. Okay, I, I just want that on the record. It's like it's like we're in a trial now. So, I always say that. Yeah. And the problem with that that goal, it will, it will never be achieved. I was at the food mart this week, and boy, oh boy, it was like I died and went to grocery heaven. Meyer is now my new favorite store. Because every time I go in that store... I find things that I used to that I that I used to love that have vanished. But now they're starting to show up at Meyer. I found smoothie bars. Speaking of <laughs> awesome tastes. Okay. Now, we really didn't need two Don stories, but this one's good. Do you, do you remember when I do you remember when I would tell you that Don used the Ready Whip to take away the salty taste of his girlfriend's vagina? Yes. One day, uh, long after after he had recently broke up with that girl, he went out with some chick that worked at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And we were, we, and he, he, he went out with her, and we were, the next day we were just stocking frozen food. And he comes up to me, and he says, yeah, yeah, I went down on her, and it was great. <laughs> it didn't taste salty or anything. A lot 
of grocery store flashbacks on this show. By the way, can I tell you something real quick? <laughs> no what? longer WrestleCrap Radio. By the way, can I tell you something real quick? <laughs> can I tell you about the, the other fantastic... <laughs> grocery item i found at the at, at meyer yeah i mean like i said and I, I didn't mean to break you if you would just seen the look in don's eyes when he said that it it didn't taste salty you know <laughs> <laughs> and i was like yeah because she probably fucking washes washes herself You know how much I enjoy beverages in glass bottles. My favorite is just Coca-Cola. Glass bottles. They are yeah. now stocking that as a standard item at Meyer. Not only that, but they make it with real sugar, like a like a Pepsi, uh, what do they call that, Pepsi throwback, right? Correct. Yes, they, they, these are in glass bottles made with real sugar. Now, but... The strange thing about it is when they ring them up. Yeah. Do you know what it registers them as on the uh, on the receipt? Mexican Coca Cola. Yeah, because they still yeah. serve they still serve them that way in Mexico. Right. Well, now they're importing them to Meyer. Now, Dad, hmm. my question is this: that, That's just so awesome, I can't even stand it. it makes me so yeah. happy. Going back to the Mexican Coke, the last time I bought some Mexican Coke. I sure didn't get a receipt. (laughs) The greatest, the latest, the greatest, it's obscure wrestling news. Sources have told this reporter. Right. That uh, Scott Norton is a bodyguard for the, uh, for Kendra Wilkinson from uh, Girls Next Door. <laughs> hmm. Can we talk we about to... Piranha 3D instead? It seems like you want to talk about that very bad. Why don't you just go ahead and? There was boobs, boobs, and body parts just flying at you for a good solid hour and a half. Did the boobs ever just come off and fly at you as well? Uh, yes. Hmm. Hey, uh, speaking of things, speaking of things, people would love. Yeah. Got an email. It said, "It said uh, if you have ever, if you ever have a Russell Crap fan meeting, here's a place for you." Shawn Michaels and his wife Rebecca are opening their own family fun center. Well, like fucking putt putt. I guess it is. I actually have the website. Do you want to? Do you want to go take a look at it with me? I'd love to. Okay, the place is uh, emerald-rainbow.com. That's emerald-rainbow.com. <laughs> Go out there, and that's the name of it. It's the Emerald Rainbow uh, Family Fun Center. Take a look there. <laughs> look, look at all the kids. They're having a blast. Wait a minute. Hmm? The, the biggest thing that stands out to me it says socks are required for entry. <laughs> I like it. Yes, it, it's bigger than parents I mean, never pay admission. Socks required for entry is larger than that. What's so wrong with that? People, ch- children didn't wear socks for years. Well, you don't want them traipsing around your place. Uh, I like that, that they have planet Earth, and it has rings around it as if it's Saturn. Now, There's also in, a business center with free Wi-Fi. There's no reason now, to stop working when the kids want to have fun. No reason. Well, Except just, you may want like, to pay attention to your kids. That may be a reason. Are these socks required on feet? It doesn't say. Perhaps like hands. Mm-hmm. Mick Foley perhaps showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Question of the week this week comes from Bob Taco who writes, did Blade sell his life story to Spike TV, question mark? And then he has a link here for us to watch. And uh, if you go to YouTube and do a search for Blade, Braxton is a scrapper. 
look at this fucking asshole with his fucking with his toilet. Who carries a toilet around? That's fake. That man does not trash bag it. He is a fraud. Can we just go to TNA news? <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of hard because it's, it's kind of hard because you know we just can't call somebody. We got. Well, I like I like to think that C.S. Irwin is just outside your door and he just paces back and forth. I, I thought I did see my motion light go off. Um, maybe go, something. Go take a look. Maybe something's going on. What's the scoop? What's the case this week? Apparently they've hired Becky Bayless, and she will be portraying a role of Cookie, a parody of Snooky from the Jersey Shore. So TNA is doing a parody character. Doing a parody character of the Jersey Shore. Apparently, TNA did it all for the Snooky. The Snooky. So you can take that cookie and stick it up your... Real quick, I've got to tell you this story. Because we were just talking about Becky Bayless. Right. I don't know if I've told you this story before, but I have, have I ever told you about the time that my ex-girlfriend accused me of, of having an affair with Becky Bayless? No. Okay. All right, so I was working. It was real late. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. I get a call from my, my ex-girlfriend. She's like, who's Becky? Who's Becky? And I'm like, what? what? What are you talking about? Who's Becky? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you have lost your fucking mind. What are you talking about? She's like, I saw some pictures on the Internet. Who's Becky? <laughs> Every time I hear this music, I smile. Because <laughs> it means it's almost the end of the show. <laughs> you know, whenever uh, Premier Blah, he does the uh, recaps on WrestleCrapRadio.com? Yeah. <laughs> I almost wonder, I often wonder whenever we're doing the show, what is going to be the... Like, the name that he tags the show with? Because he titles every show. Yeah. Is this one going to be Who's Becky? Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Oh, God. That, that still, it still feels like yesterday. You're fucking... She, oh, she was like, you're fucking her, aren't you? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about! Dave Meltzer not talking about having an affair with Becky Bayless while the... Music from Coliseum Video, circa 1985, plays in the background on Observer Radio this week. Current wrestling news here, kids. This is the news you can find everywhere else on the web. Former ECW GM, Tiffany has been indefinitely suspended. (sighs) Apparently, she was yelling at her husband. Drew McIntyre, yelling at him to such a degree in a hotel that they called the cops. I wonder if she was yelling at him, who's Becky? Uh, I, that's a good question. Perhaps she was. Uh, uh, Drew McIntyre was probably just looking at Becky Bayless' photos on onlineworldofwrestling.com. As we all do. Yeah. But apparently she's suspended. Bail, this was crazy. Apparently, her, her bail was like $25,000. I've been watching SmackDown again. Yeah. You have something to say about Alberto Del Rio? Albert Del Rio. Translated literally. Albert of River. 